मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स यूनिवर्सिटी योर ओन यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ क्लास एट सो दिस वीडियो विल बी ओनली द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन एंड प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट सो एज बाय द नेम द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल मीन्स what first what is the equation what is the meaning of equation first we will talk about this then we will talk about the what is linear equation and what is one variable so before starting let's talk about the equation so what is equation an equation has two equal sides separated by an equal sign means any two for example it shows two e equation equal for example if you take that 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 will be equals to 6 plus 2 yes or no 5 plus 3 is what 5 plus 3 is 8 5 plus 3 is what 5 plus 3 is 8 5 plus 3 is 8 and 6 plus 2 is also equals to 8 means so an equation this is an equation the equation has two equal sides this is also equal this is also equal equal side separated by an equal sign it both are separated both are separated by an equal sign both are separated by an equal sign let's talk about the second example second example will be take suppose 2n equals to 10 means what you have to you have to put the value of n so that this will be equal to 10 so if you take if you take if n equals to 5 Then two into five equals to ten. Means ten equals to ten. There are two equation two n equals two n and ten both are third by an equal sign. So in an equation the the in an equation the equation should be separated by the equal sign. That is called equation. So as we have discussed that what is equation? Equation is an equation which is separated by the equal sign and both the LHS and RHS are equal. So what is linear equation? Linear equation, equation we have discussed. What is linear equation? Linear equation is an equation involving only one variable. Means in the equation there should be only one variable. And what is that? It's called a linear equation. And the highest power. This is an important. The highest power. The the highest power should be one. In the equation, the highest power should be what? One. As we have seen in example that three x minus five equals to zero. Three x minus five is zero. The question, linear equation. What is it? The equation in involving only one variable. There is only one variable. There is only one variable, and the highest power is also one. This will be not equation like for example three x square plus one equals to zero. This will not linear equation. This will will not linear equation because the power of the variable is two. But the linear equation definition is saying that power should be only highest power should be only one. So this will not be linear equation. This is the linear equation. Three x minus five equals to zero and eight y minus y equals to zero. Okay. So we'll talk about some of the question. We'll discuss some of the question of this linear equation. Some of the important, very easy questions we'll discuss about this. Okay. This is the question. Very easy question of the linear equation in one variable. This is the NCERT question. So here the first question is two x minus three equals to seven. So how we solve this? So two x minus three equals to seven. So two x minus three equals to seven. So how we know that this is a linear equation? We can see that the equation having only one variable and variable power is only one. The highest power should be only one. This is called linear equation. How we we'll solve? We will separate the variable and constant term. So two x equals to seven plus three. Two x is equals to seven plus three. So two x equals to seven plus three equal what? Ten. So x will be what? Two. Two is two into x equals to ten. So x will be two ten by two. That is equals to five. So x value will be equals to five. Next you question is two y plus nine equals to four. This is the same question. So how you solve to two y equals to four minus nine? So two y will be what? Two y equals to four minus nine will be what? Five minus five. So minus five. So y will be what? Y equals to minus five by two. This is the answer. Very simple. This is the easiest question of the linear equation in one variable. This is an NCERT question of example. Okay. See, 
थर्ड क्वेश्चन बिफोर सींग द थर्ड क्वेश्चन दीज टू क्वेश्चन वर नॉट इन फ्रैक्शन बट द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रैक्शन सो यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन टू थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रैक्शन एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस वाई फाइव बाई टू इक्व टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रैक्शन द क्वेश्चन इज सही एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस वाई बाई फाइव बाई टू इक्व टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हाउ इट इज लीन इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन इज इन वन वेरिएबल एंड द पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज हाइएस्ट पावर इज वन सो हाउ यू सॉल्व वील सपरेट द इक्वेशन वेरिएबल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट तो एक्स बाई थ्री इक्व टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू माइनस फाइव बाई टू ये सर नो एक्स बाई थ्री इक्व टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू माइनस फाइव बाई टू सो एक्स बाई थ्री विल वॉट एक्स बाई थ्री इक्व टू विल टेक द एल सी ऑन टू एल सी विल बी टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फाइव दिस विल वॉट एक्स बाई थ्री इक्व टू माइनस एट बाई टू तो एक्स विल बी वॉट एक्स विल बी एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस एट इंटू थ्री बाई टू टू वन जै टू टू फोर ज एट तो एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस फोर इंटू थ्री सो एक्स विल बी माइनस ट्वेल्व हाउ यू सॉल्व वी हैव जस्ट सॉल्व बाई हाउ एक्स बाई थ्री पावर इज वन वाई फाइव बाई टू इक्व टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू वी हैव सपरेटेड द कॉन्स्टेंट and the variable part to so, variable part we have separated x by 3 equals to minus 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2 x by 3 we have taken the lcm of these two 2 and 2 lcm will be only 2 only to so, minus 3 minus 5 to so, x equals to x by 3 equals to minus 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 plus 5 plus 3 equals 8 and the sign will be remain minus only because the no, greater number sign is minus only so x by 3 equals to minus 8 by 2 so x will be what minus 8 into 3 by 2 because this 3 was in division so it will go this side then it will go multiplication okay so x is equals to minus 4 into 3 that is equals to x is equals to minus 12 so these were the very simple question i hope you have understood the introduction part of this chapter linear equation in variable in next video we will talk about the ncert questions all the ncert question i will make you solve okay thank you